we've ever been to that's this road into it, yeah. I swear. Tom, cut in all of the videos of Andy and I driving to Bushdorf's in the past. And we always have the same shot of us driving up this fucking sketchy ass road. <sighs> Strap your fucking seatbelts in, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be the Garen Fall driving experience. Nothing but open roads. <laughs> open roads and hoes. Feels like the old time, so <laughs> bringing it back to the old days. Oh, yeah, eh? cool. It's a mini festival in the middle of the Belangelo State Forest. We'll play Ivan Seek, and one of us won't come back. Our friend Corfi is actually throwing most of this weekend, which he's got a bunch of DJs and putting us to play at it. Yeah, can we've arrived. I reckon that is the most five star sign I've ever seen. Corfie, we should, we should get <laughs> look at the water bottles just hanging on the bottom of it. Holy shit. Well. Looks like we're in the right place. I think we should get a sign like that for Spectrum now. Cool. Boys, we're here at Carfee's Door. You'd think we'd have a little quiet one because last weekend we had Goldie and the next weekend we got a big one in Melbourne. But you know, we're not going to stay home. We're in the middle of buttfuck nowhere. It's going to be 200 people turning up and it's going to be fucking huge, boys. <laughs> it's probably going to be like minimum 150 people here. But like this spot, probably fit maybe 3,000 I reckon, so. 3,000? Yeah. Yeah, I reckon you could fit 3K in here. Just quietly. Oh, I'm going to get so fucked up tonight. <laughs> Holy shit! Yes! Yeah, baby! Oh, bro, what a spot! This is only half built. We've got a couple of things more. A couple more things coming. One sub, two 12 inches, two 15 inches. Josh and Jack McMillan. Got the rave bar up there. Another one coming. Derby Light. What's a rave bar? Laser. See this thing here. Tom, editing a photo of us with the doof stick at Lost. I painted Roo boys on here, but it sort of disappeared. Oh, I guess you can see it. <laughs> R-U-U-E. Roo! So whose idea was it to make this doof? Um, mine, unfortunately. So <laughs> I invited 60, 70 people. Foolishly left the event on friends can invite friends. And I had a friend who invited a lot of friends. <laughs> who, was, who, who was that? <laughs> I think you had two. Well, they're basically the same person. <laughs> <laughs> One's just a bit smarter than I the other. I saw that <laughs> the invite button was accidentally open, so I was just like, invite all friends. <laughs> oh, it's pumping. Such a good turnout. Turn out. Oh, thanks everyone so for coming through. Yeah. Hell yeah! <laughs> whoop, whoop. Hey, can I have my, uh, my uh, Spotify on? <laughs> Bro, don't worry, I'm gonna be playing. I'm, I'm gonna play heaps of R&B tonight. It's gonna be oh, sick. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing is, he's actually a professional dancer. <laughs> I come do a backflip. You wouldn't? Yeah, do a backflip. Oh, oh shit! Hey, hey, hey. Right, Josh, I bet you can't do that. Josh, I bet you can't do I'll it. I want up and do a wall backflip. No, you can't backflip though. I backflip. I think I've done a backflip every one of these fucking videos. Bro, right, Josh, you actually can't do a backflip. Guys, fine. I'll do a backflip. That wasn't a backflip, bro. That was a wall flip. Oh, oh shit! Had a little leech sucking on me. I remember when I was seven. The first action I ever had in my life was a little leech sucking on my cock. I've still got a little. It looks like a freckle, but it's actually a scar from the leech. Anyway, on to bigger and better things. This has been probably the craziest week of my life. I put a clip up on TikTok of this remix of the spins by Mac Miller that I did. I just love the song. It's been my sort of happy anthem for the last like two years. One day I was in the studio by myself in Sydney, like the studio that I go to every Thursday and I wasn't making too much progress. So I decided to just like do a remix of the spins, post it on my TikTok and it just blew up straight away. And then I was like, shit, I better post it. So I posted it on SoundCloud like three days ago. It's already got fucking 110,000 views. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Just, I don't know what I did to fucking deserve all this shit. After that, it's just been like non-stop with like my management, with like labels and all this shit and fucking selling out the, the whole Spectrum tour. And and I just, I don't, I don't really know how to grasp it all. We're in the middle of fucking nowhere. I swear to God, like you guys were... I think the, the boys just fucked up that news. Generator just died 100%. Anyway, yeah, you guys know Tommy by now. This motherfucker is trying to trying to get here for minutes at a time. <laughs> I had to walk. At a time. I I had Not to minutes. I had to walk 800 meters up the road to find him. This is actually fucking deserted. There's nothing here. Literally not. Like we're on a dirt road right now. Oh, this is oh, <laughs> I'm turning around. Surely not, bro. Right? Track all fucking bend. 
I walked all the way from the campsite to the fork to make sure these guys would make this shit. I ain't leaving my brother behind, motherfucker. You know how the rude boys roll. All right, we're going down this way. 4% of my phone, we're fucking on this shit. Go, go, go! Go! Every time we play like a gig in the city, so whatever, it's like, it's a lot of restrictions. Here, everyone can do what the fuck they want. Andy and I are on the decks in about 40 minutes. 40 minutes. I can't even see straight at this point. Cunt. How we feeling? Uh, I just woke up. It's been four hours sleep. Much better at 5 a.m. So 9.30 or something. The music didn't stop all night, so we're curious to see fucking who's on the dance floor. But. What's up, boys? I am still here. Oh, Haven't boy. slept, baby. <laughs> been on this DF the whole time. No, I'm kidding, I went to bed like three. I'm fucking well slept. Got my seven hours. What am I kicking on, actually? Uh, Crocs on. <laughs> oh, I love the Crocs. Oh, Sh shuffling, yeah. shuffling mode. This music hasn't stopped. I think I woke up at five, still on. Woke up at eight, still on. It's fucking 9.30, music hasn't it's stopped. It's hit 9.30. I think so. Oh, fuck. I don't think there's a single person in this thing without a fucking dead phone. This morning at 7 a.m., after about four hours of scout sleep, music still fucking blaring. Come out here, my friend Nick falling asleep right there. DJ straight in front of me, he's just going straight out. Last night, like, um, B was like, it's like watching a fucking child. He's so drunk, yeah. and then Jack just comes down and is like, I want a party! <laughs> I want a party! <laughs> what are you doing today, Josh? I'm going to lost some days. <laughs> I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up. So we're doing our drunk kebab review on a Tuesday afternoon. Absolutely fucking sober. <laughs> we're at Carfee still from the weekend, and um, so there was definitely no kebabs there. And I don't think we're on any state to drive. Two hours out of the bush to go find a kebab. Look at this. Look at the serenity. Welcome to DY, everybody. We're going to a place called Kebab World. Not gonna lie, this kebab smells pretty fucking good. I don't know, I don't know whether it's because I'm a little bit hangry or it's a really good kebab, but time will find out. Smell rating, 10 out of 10. Bite tracking though. The whole like mixture of it folded together, the way they've placed all the food, and the sauce to meat to bread ratio, like it's actually perfect. I reckon it's it's, it's, it's got to be up there at the moment. There's not too much onion in there, so you know how you get too much onion, too too oniony. Even how it's toasted, it's like the perfect softness on the inside, and then like the crunch on the outside, and even the meat's a little bit toasted as well. Like I don't know if you can tell, every time we do a kebab review, Jack just ends up with shit all over his mouth. Oh, I've <laughs> just grabby eater, dude. The sauce is good. Chili is nice and spicy, how I like it. However, all the distribution within the kebab is off. Over here is all just meat. This is fucking just mouthful of lettuce and fucking whatever that is. I'm gonna give this 7.5. Oh. I like the, the meat to cheese to all the sauce ratio. It was actually like just blew up all the taste buds in my tongue, so. And all throughout the palate. Yeah, um, like a nice wine. <laughs> yeah, a glass of red with that, I reckon I'll give it maybe a solid 7.6. Yeah, look, I'm with Benny on this. The dispute dispute dis <laughs> can't even fucking say the word <laughs> of it was just a bit all over the place. I, I reckon I'll give it a solid maybe 7.9. But keep in mind we're not we're not fucking drunk right now. So yeah. it, that might affect it. We are also really hungry. We have, Kebab World DY comes out with a whopping. 7.6 out of 10, which I think places it at third place so far. So, not bad. That's the end of this week's review video. Next week, we're going out to Melbourne. Got a full fucking sold out show and pretty much a whole sold out tour now. I think the only places that we have left to sell out now are Brizzy, Brizzy and Wollongong. So, if you're from those two cities, come in hot. We haven't got that many tickets left, so make sure you get them before they sell out. That's what's up. All right, thanks for watching, boys. Later. Yeah. Ah, Roo!